Welcome back to the class on HVDC transmission system. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the choice of converter configuration. The converter configuration we are deciding based upon the two parameters. One is the valve utilization factor. Second one is the transformer utilization factor. By maximizing these two parameters, we are selecting the configuration for the converter. Now we are going to predefine the sum of the variables. Pulse number. In case of HVDC system, we are converting AC power into the DC power. So the DC voltage is consisting of some amount of pulse. How many pulses for one cycle of the AC voltage is nothing but a pulse number. Second one is the commutation group. Commutation group is nothing but a group of device in which only one device is conducting if you are neglecting the overlap angle. Smaller is nothing but a Number of competition groups are connected in parallel. Smallest is nothing but a number of competition groups are connected in a series. Based upon the four parameters, we are going to see valve utilization factor. This is the converter configuration. This is the one competition group. In this group, it may have consisting of one wall or two wall or three walls. So how many walls were connected in the series? That is representing the S. How many walls we have connected in parallel? That is representing the R. The voltage across these two terminals is nothing but a DC voltage. Valve rating. Valve rating is nothing but a, the maximum peak inverse voltage can be withstand by the wall during the operation is nothing but a valve rating. Valve utilization factor is defined as a ratio between the peak inverse voltage to the maximum DC voltage. Now we are going to find out the maximum DC voltage in terms of a number of devices in a competition group. The maximum DC voltage equal to S into Q by 2 pi integral minus pi by Q2 pi by Q EM cos omega t d omega t. If we complete this integration, we are getting the maximum DC voltage equal to S into Q by pi EM sin pi by where Q is nothing but a Number of devices in a computation group. S is nothing but a number of computation groups are connected in a series. Peak inverse voltage. The peak inverse voltage is highly depending upon the how many devices are there in a computation group. If the Q value is even, then the peak inverse voltage is equal to 2 EM with a phase displacement of pi radians. Q value is odd, then the peak inverse voltage is equal to 2 EM cos pi by 2 Q with a phase displacement of pi plus or minus pi by Q. Now we know the value of peak inverse voltage as well as maximum DC voltage. Then we can find out the wall utilization factor. The wall utilization factor here we are getting the two values one for a Q even and a Q odd. For Q even 2 pi by S Q into sin of pi by Q for Q odd pi by S Q sin of pi by 2 Q because we know the value of the peak inverse voltage as well as the maximum DC voltage we can easily calculate this one. For a 6 pulse converter now we have taken the different combinations for the Q R S we have calculated the wall utilization factor nothing but this factor. We are getting the different values. Out of all these values, the first combination and third combination has given the good utilization for the wall. So out of these two combinations, we are going to select only this combination after studying the transformer utilization factor. Transformer rating. The current passing through the wall is defined as I of V equal to ID by R into root Q. Again, R is nothing but a number of competition groups are connected in a parallel. Q is nothing but a number of devices in a competition group. ID is nothing but a constant DC current. Transformer rating and volume side is given by in volt amperes. This is equal to Q into EM by O2 into IV. Already we know the value of IV. We know the maximum voltage given by the converter. Vd0 equal to Sq by pi 
em sin pi by q just now we have derived this expression from this expression i have to calculate the em value we are getting this one now from the equation 1 and 4 if you substitute in equation 2 we are getting the transformer rating that is equal to pi by root 2 into vd not id by root q into sin pi by q this is the transformer rating which is giving a power to the converter now if we take this term to the right hand side this side we are getting the transformer utilization factor <coughs> now we have a pi by root 2 into 1 by root q into sin pi by q the transformer ut utilization factor is highly depending upon the q value suppose if we take the q value equal to 3 Nothing but the number of pairwise and commutation group is three. The transformer utilization factor is very high. That is unfortunately that is also matching with the number of pairs we are using to give a power to the converter. For Q equal to three, this is the transformer utilization factor, one point four eight one. The transformer utilization factor further we can improve if we use the one transformer winding to supply power to the two wall. groups at a time so that the current rating of a winding will be increased to root 2 factor and number of windings will be reduced by 2 in this case the transformer utilization factor becomes a 1.047 we are getting a better wall utilization as well as transformer utilization q equal to 3 r equal to 1 and s equal to 2 so with this values if you frame a converter that converter is nothing but a grades converter this is one commutation group this is another commutation group nothing but two commutation groups are connected in a series how many devices in a one commutation group three devices that's why q value 3 s value becomes a 2 r value becomes a 1 only one parallel path this converter is giving a six pulse output for the dc voltage But in case of HVDC system, if this type of converter is connected in series, it gives a 12 pulse converter. It is more advantageous when compared to the 6 pulse converter. The controllability of the 12 pulse converter will be very very easy. Moreover, the output voltage at the DC side is 12 pulses, so the design of the filter also very easy. Suppose if you want to increase the pulse number more than the 12 means, which introducing the non characteristic harmonics into the how we are going to give a power to the each converter in a 12 pulse converter means one converter will be feeding a power through the star star transformer and another converter is excited by the star delta transformer by that time the voltage which is applied to the two converters displaced by 30 degrees which is helpful to producing a 12 pulses in a up to voltage in this manner we are selecting the configuration for the converter what is the configuration we have set up for hvdc system mean six pulse configuration the converter is nothing but a grids converter two grids converters are connected in a series it will gives the four pulse converter thank you very much for watching this video